Hi, I'm Dr. David Tigay, an internal medicine physician and genetic counselor in the Department of Medicine at the New York College of Osteopathic Medicine's Adele Smithers Parkinson's Disease Treatment Center at the New York Institute of Technology. I meet all new Parkinson's patients and let them know about the services that we offer here and find out whether the services that we offer could be of benefit in helping them lead better and more productive lives. One of my jobs here is to help families with Parkinson's disease make sense of the possible genetic predispositions that might have led to individuals having this condition. DOs are doctors of osteopathic medicine. We are licensed physicians um, that practice medicine in many different specialties. Here at the Adele Smithers Parkinson's program at the Academic Healthcare Center, there are DOs here that specialize in osteopathic manipulative medicine. For Parkinson's patients, what we like to do is to treat the body to try to reduce muscle spasms and improve gait. There was a research study done here at this center that showed utilizing osteopathic manipulative treatment, we were able to improve um, patients with Parkinson's and help them with their gait, how fast they could walk, and how smoothly they could walk. Here at the Academic Healthcare Center, we offer osteopathic manipulative medicine to help treat Parkinson's patients and get them moving better. Here in physical therapy, uh, we help people with Parkinson's disease achieve their goals. These goals are individualized. However, there are some common goals uh, that run throughout most people. They include helping improve walking, improving balance, and improving posture. We help them to achieve these goals using various machines while they're in rehab, but we also help design a home exercise program where people do these exercises on a daily basis to help improve function, help improve quality of life, and help improve posture. Hi, my name is Wei Lin Wan. I'm the occupational therapist in Academic Healthcare Center. Occupational therapy is to help you improve your ability in activities of daily living, such as basic self-care, home and life management, work and leisure activities, handwriting skills, and fine motor coordination skills. With combination of exercise, coordination activities, adaptation strategies, problem-solving skills, and safety education, Occupational therapy will help you minimize or overcome the challenges you are encountering in your daily life and to improve the quality of your life. My name is Marcia Kogut and I am the speech language pathologist at the Adele Smithers Parkinson's Disease Treatment Center. I would like to explain the role of speech pathology in the rehabilitation process and why individuals with Parkinson's disease benefit from this type of therapy. When an individual begins to speak too softly, slur words, and avoid social situations, a speech impairment has developed. When there is difficulty in finding the right word or putting words together to convey an idea, language problem has emerged. When the individual begins to carry a tissue around because of drooling, or has trouble swallowing pills, an eating problem has emerged, which is called dysphagia. The person with Parkinson's disease needs to be proactive in the recovery process. As Parkinson's is a progressive disorder, the sooner one begins treatment, the sooner one can take back control of the simple pleasures of communicating. Speech language and swallowing therapy are essential. This therapy is the only way to improve one's ability to speak and swallow effectively. Please inquire as to how to schedule your speech, language, or swallow evaluation and learn more about the only program that has been documented to significantly benefit a person with Parkinson's speech. Think loud, be loud, and talk loud. I'm Dr. Robert Goldblatt, and I'm here to help you with the diagnosis of uh, Parkinson's disease. What we do here is we try to deal with your symptoms. Whatever you're feeling, whatever you're thinking, whatever, however you're behaving, 
Many times people come in with anxiety and depression. My training and background is to help you with those two very, very common symptoms and to help you to understand that they are very, very um, easily able to be dealt with. We deal with your feelings, your thoughts, and as I said earlier, your behaviors in terms of helping you cope. We try to maximize your potentials and to help you have the best outcome you can possibly have. So the wellness program is a continuation after physical therapy to maintain your fitness level. It can be very intimidating with Parkinson's disease to start an exercise program. This is a warm environment. We're used to having people in here with any kind of condition. You come in, you get your own program. The wellness program is also an excellent way to keep you involved in the program, whether you're going to occupational therapy, speech therapy, OMM, you're here, you're exercising, we keep a monitored eye on you. If there's any change in your condition, it's very easy for us to send you back. So we really do encourage patients to do it while they're here for another therapy or after they're done with another therapy. If you're a patient uh, with Parkinson's disease and you found that you've had some of these challenges and obstacles that you haven't been able to overcome and that are resulting in a loss of quality of life and a loss of independence, uh, consider our program. Um, it's a family environment. Um, we work together and I think that you're going to find that you're going to benefit greatly from our services. Thank you.